This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Good morning, everybody. I'm Maurice Drummond, and here are some of the top stories making headlines. The Major Case Squad is investigating a homicide in the Metro East. Police say an 18-year-old man was shot and killed in his garage. It happened around 10 o'clock last night on Lakeland Hills Drive in Fairview Heights. There's no information about a possible suspect. The Red Cross is helping a family of five find a new place to live after this early morning fire on Beatty in North St. Louis. Firefighters cut metal bars to create a second exit as other crews arrived to put out the flames. No one was hurt. Investigators are working to find out the cause of that fire. Later today, a new fitness center in downtown St. Louis is hosting its grand opening. One Life Fitness is part of phase two of Ballpark Village and it spans two levels, has a variety of classes including Pilates and Zumba. And if you mention Cardinals, when you sign up, you're gonna get a Budweiser Ballpark Pass, which allows you to get the standing room only section at Bush for any game after opening day. Wow. Now, not bad at Pretty all. Pretty cool. And it, well, they have some good weather at that point, I'm sure, well, Kent. But for now. They'll be fit, so they'll be able to stand up for an entire ball game, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but for now, it's going to be a little bit chilly. It is a little chilly. It's not quite baseball season yet, <laughs> fortunately, because it's going to be cold. Near steady temperatures today, starting off in the 20s, maybe climbing a little bit in some sunshine. But wind chills stay in the teens and 20s today. Wind chills going to be an issue into the afternoon. But tonight, those temperatures drop down into the teens. Not the wind chills, but the actual temperatures. It won't be as windy and we'll be under clear skies. It's going to be a short cold snap, but a fairly significant one overnight tonight. But lots of sunshine today, hopefully getting up into the low 30s. It's going to be a cold day, all right? Northeast winds at about 10 miles per hour by later this afternoon, a little bit stronger than that early on. Now, the super predictor all the way to noon on Sunday, and notice that this rain holds off a little bit into the afternoon, so we salvage much of the day for most of the viewing area. It starts off in the south later in the afternoon and evening and then overtakes uh, the entire viewing area. So rain is still likely, especially late Sunday and into Monday now. And some areas could see an inch or more of rain out of all of this before it's all said and done. It appears like it holds off until Tuesday morning before things really start to dry off uh, dry out. And we get some colder temperatures too. So 31 today, cold tomorrow morning in the teens, but uh, clear and not a lot of wind. 43 degrees for the high on Friday. A nice recovery on Saturday, just in time for Mardi Gras and Soulard. Sunny skies, 53 degrees. Some rain moving in Sunday afternoon and evening into Sunday night and Monday, but temperatures remain mild. They start to drop off a little bit into the middle of next week, and we could see a little wintry stuff by the middle of next week.